but back to creating my my basic sun here so again I could go in create the shape I want and I'm just going to select this and make it you know much warmer so let's go for something yellow and I want the fill to be yellow not the stroke and actually let's just get rid of the stroke okay so I just have fill here now so if I wanted to, I could go in, maybe I want rays coming out. This can be very cartoony. And let's just use the, so here, I'm just kind of, I actually want this to be the same color. So let us just go in and sample this. And now when I draw, it's gonna be the same color as my sun here. And these, other ones are just not good. You notice no matter how kind of wobbly my line is, it straightens out a bit. And that is because, uh, actually I can't really see that here. Um, let's un bring that open so we can just make it bigger. That's because this is set. So this is set to strength, straighten any drawn line. Let's just go back before when I had any. So this will straighten something. If it is set to smooth, I mean, that tries to smooth something out. It doesn't try to strengthen it, straighten it. So let's just do the same kind of little spiral. Okay, first on smooth. Okay, so it looks better. I can also go in and select it. Just double click here and smooth it out this way so it gets even smoother. I could also go in and, okay, let's just redraw. And if, rather than smooth, if I have straighten selected, then it's going to try to straight, straighten my lines as much as possible. And so here you can see it's slowly straightening it into eventually it's just going to be a line. Okay, so two options in terms of how you kind of modify what you draw. And I do want to just repeat that, you know what, if anything's really complicated, you're not going to draw it in Flash, you're going to draw it in Photoshop, you're going to draw it in Illustrator, and you're going to import it in. Flash is good at simple, basic, and often in a cartoon, that's what you want. You might want to do very simple characters that don't require anything complicated. Or uh, you might want to do a very simple background like this. The other thing that Flash is good at, if you have, say, a photographic image or, say, uh, a video that you want to stylize and kind of give it a cartoon appearance, you can import that into Flash and use Flash to convert it and then export it again. Uh, here, let's just have a look at um, going in and uh, making sure that we don't actually go in and make any changes to this, you know, like um, like I did when I was kind of overlapping multiple, um, multiple shapes. Let's go in and make this so that it's going to actually just um, be like this all the time. So let's see, um, maybe I want something else on here, but for now, I'm just, this is my sun, I'm happy with it. I'm gonna right click on it, and I am going to convert to symbol. This time, I'm gonna use a movie clip, and I'm just gonna call it sun. I'm gonna do underscore MC, so I know it's a movie clip. And there it is, now it's, I can overlap it all I want, it's not gonna make any difference. Now why I wanted to make it a movie clip is that I want to kind of make it glow. And here, movie clips you can do that with. Uh, I'm gonna kind of blur the edge, change the color. I want it to be the same color as that. And I'm gonna make it a stronger glow so now I have a sun that you know has, has a sun sun. And if I did a knockout, then I just have the, the edges. I'm going to change it to high quality because I don't want any low quality stuff here. So I can make it, I can go up to 255, that's about it. But, you know, I can add a glow. 
I could add another one too. Uh, I could add a gradient glow, which might be kind of cool. And again here, this is kind of cool if I wanted to do like some kind of weird, um, you know, eclipse thing, I could do that. At the knockout allows me to knock out that shape that doesn't really do anything for me here. And I could also go in and change this color to, let's just make it this color. So that's also going to give me my gradient glow. I want it to be the same distance though, so it's not really any, there's not really any point in doing that to be honest. I could just do a regular glow. Uh, but here let's just increase the amount of blur. So that's one thing I can do. I can kind of expand that a little bit. And I could also add, well, it doesn't really do it much with the inner glow. So here, again, let's just delete that. Whoops, I didn't mean to delete the whole thing. I just wanted to delete that. So again, you can add filters. Uh, I'm just going to add the basic glow, but make it uh, yellow. So same color as the sun. And strength, maybe 100% is too much, but oh yeah. So I have something that's a little bit more than just a straight edge thing. So I've got my sun. Uh, now if I want to scale it down, again, uh, just use this basic free transform tool. Hold the shift key down and you can scale it up or scale it down. Shift key, make sure that it stays proportional so you're not distorting it. And there I've got a smaller sun. I'm just gonna move it around. Okay, so again, assemble means that you're not gonna accidentally delete parts of your drawing once you have it. Uh, the movie clip was what allowed me to add the filter on it. You can't add a filter to a gradient. And I'm not gonna do any um, other kind of nested animation so the movie clip is fine. Okay so the sun. Um, now there are situations where you want you know your shapes to kind of join together. This the sun wasn't one of them. It's a single shape but if I go in uh, I'm going to create maybe uh, some trees or let me do buildings. Buildings, buildings could be cool. And now I have a buildings layer. I'm going to lock everything else so I'm not messing around with it. And I'm going to change my color to something that is maybe a little bit more building-like, a little brown. I'm going to get rid of my stroke. And then it might be a little bit green for, yeah, it's a little green for an urban area. So maybe it's not buildings, maybe I'm creating trees. So I could create something like that, you know, that could be the trunk, and then go in, make this uh, a darker green, and then just kind of do a whole bunch of circles to create the leaves. These are automatically going to be joined together, so I can be kind of rough. I can be as stylized as I want. So that's kind of looking like a pretty stylized tree. So again, now I have two different color things, but just select them both, right click and go convert to symbol. This one I'm going to make a graphic though, in this case, you know, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to call it tree underscore gr because it's a graphic symbol. And then I'm going to go in and make multiple copies of it. So uh, here I just have to grab it and drag it over and I can create my own little forest. Now Right now it looks like I have cloned all my trees. So uh, if I want to make them look a little bit different, go to color effect. I'm going to change the tint, just kind of make it them slightly different shades. Maybe this one's going to be more or less red, less green, you know, changes like that. Oh, and I could also just go in here and change the tint to something darker than that pink. Uh, I'm also going to change the scale on this, and I can do that here. I can just click on the width and height and scale it down, or I can use the transform tool. So let's make that bigger, put that in the foreground. Uh, this one, maybe we'll put that, make that smaller, and 
put it farther back. So farther back, farther away, the lighter something gets. So we're going to make it a little bit brighter. And again, uh, right now, it's behind that one. If uh, it was in front, we could change that. And we could also right-click on it and go um, right-click and go uh, transform. Flip horizontal so it's pointing in the other direction. And again here we'll just uh, make it maybe halfway in between. Now here I want it to go behind this tree so I'm going to do uh, arrange, send to back. These are on the same layers. Oh well I didn't want send back. This one I want to be in the back. So let's go uh, arrange, send to back. <clears throat> 